racing fans, welcome to Delaware Park. I'm your host, AJ Grace. You will be watching races from Monday, Park. September 13th. We had eight races today, and our sixth race was our feature race. It was an A other than allowance, claiming 32,000. Our racetrack was fast. Our turf course was listed as good. It was The rail was out 25 feet. The weather here at Delaware Park, once again, was a great day. The temps were in the 80s. We had a slight wind from the southwest, about nine miles per hour. Other than that, we had a couple of take a shot horse, so we didn't do all that bad today. And once again, uh, with that being said, let's take a look at the first half, the early daily double, which will be contested at five and a half furlongs, claiming 5,000. And here's your field. Take out the two, take out the four. We had four in the opener, and here's Josh. Away and running the favorite Thurman Merman in that second place position out paced by I wish I was special and there goes Kukulkan so the pace is on on a sultry day and Kukulkan has the lead over Thurman Merman and on the inside Kevin Whitty now shares third over the one who broke on top I wish I was special his last of the four four furlongs to go and Kukulkan tries to make a break for it and shows the way by a length but Thurman Merman the heavy gamble is right there in a position to challenge and Kevin Whitty is getting a bit closer well ground saving i wish i was special right there the thick of it too with five sixteenths to go thurman merman now hits the front and ku Kolkan needs to do a little bit better rail split now off the inside for kevin witty in the red cap i wish i was special is four wide for them across the track at the top of the stretch and kevin ready rolls to the top thurman merman needs to find all of those aces out of the hat and cannot do it right now inside the furlong grounds and kevin witty nine to two on the board is kicked away. I wish I was special. Moves into second. Thurman Merman at one to nine. No better than third. And Kevin Whitty has conquered the first. Kevin Whitty gets a real trip for Chelsea Mosey. She gets her seven. Hilrado gets his tenth. And Kevin Whitty gets the win. Eleven sixty-eight dollars. And we got a refund. I wish I was special. Eleven dollars and a refund. The five was third and the three was fourth. The exact is sixty-five dollars. Refund for the try and for the super. Let's go to the second half. The early daily double T rolls. Maybe the special weight gone six furlongs. Take out the four. Here's your start. Away and running. Bit of an awkward start from Commander Biz. The favorite Emma's Waltz breaks well, and there goes Muggsy Malone. And right behind the speed is Don't Forget to Blink. Up the inside, it's Valiant Gabe. Yellow cap on the far outside is Papa Charles. And last of all, the slow starting strides of Commander Biz. So Emma's Waltz dictates the speed today and leads by a length and a quarter. Valiant Gabe chases the pace, a joint second. And on the outside, Muggsy Malone now takes that second position away. And Don't Forget to blink eyeballs a trio of speed but a little wide and a little rank two papa charles is over one rival and that's commander biz as they pass the three for long peg and emma's waltz in hand and in command and shows the way by two authoritative lengths on the far outside trying to close in with a late kick is don't forget to blink who's three deep in the middle muggsy malone holds second and a rail scraping valiant gabe as this field arrives to the top of the stretch emma's waltz continues to lead with a one and a half length lead a three Three-way battle across the course for the Miners, which is being held by Muggsy Malone. And don't forget to blink is closing in two. But Emma's waltz has been nicely clear since the starter said go. at six to five as Emma Waltz's win. Over. Emma Waltz coming in from Saratoga, making his second start. Give James Chapman his first. Give Donald Centeno his 41st. And Emmett breaks his maiden of the turn 442, 42, 20. Muggsy Malone, first time starter, got a future 280, 240. Don't forget to break return 260. And the seven was fourth. Your exact of 1560. Your try 3380. Your daily double one at four, 1060. And your other double $24.80. Your super $43.40. Let's go to the third race, a mile and 70 on the turf. Phillies Mare claiming eight. We had a couple of scratches. Take out the four, take out the six, and take out the 11. And they're on their way. It's a field of eight that is in the gate. Away and running. Good speed. Two from the inside for Don't Charge It. 
rail speed from my little Rosie. And on the wide outside, the one who was reluctant to load, Uncle Moe's affair tries to take over the lead. And Suntrance is going to keep that one company, so they're under the line for the first time. My little Rosie has a neck in front. Uncle Moe's affair right there second, and the pace is hot. Sundrench is right there with the run of the race in third, and already quite a separation back to the fourth place rival, which is don't charge it as they swing this first turn bend. Division Spirits, tracked by Pride Leader, second last is no sniveling, and last of all is Hetty G. In a well-stretched out group, My Little Rosie now shows the way with five furlongs to go and tries to slow this down and shows it by a length and a half. Uncle Moe's affair right there close in tow at the four and a half, and Sundrench still left alone, and she's third by at least six authoritative lengths over Don't Charge It, who's a tracking fourth. Navision Spirit in that fifth place spot. Wide outside, no sniveling starts to advance. Pride leaders in front of one, and nothing yet from Hetty G. They enter the far turn run, and My Little Rosie playing Catch Me If You Can has slipped away from the opposition and is led by five. Uncle Moe's affair needs to do a lot better than that, starting to get a little bit closer is Don't Charge It trying to find a split and on the far outside closing in is the Vision Spirit. They run to the top of the stretch. My Little Rosie trying to see this through for another three sixteenths of a mile. The Vision Spirit right now the only threat in second and trying to press on past a leg weary leader. My Little Rosie starting to huff and puff now. The Vision Spirit is making up good ground inside the final sixteenth of a mile but holding on is My Little Rosie. She popped and didn't stop. My Little Rosie Rosie has won it. My little Rosie dropping from 16 to 8. Gets there his uh, third win out of 18 starts on the turf. Give uh, Jose Ramirez his second. Give Martinez his third. And give my little Rosie seven twenty-four dollars two eighty. Navasinian Spirit three dollars two eighty. Pride Leader was third five dollars. The three was fourth. The exact of twenty-five twenty. The try two o three even. The daily double thirty-eight sixty. And the pick three thirty-three dollars and ninety cents. And your other pick three eighty one fifty and your super three hundred and six dollars and eighty cents. Fourth race, Philly Mare style claim eight down to seven, non winners to two, going six furlongs. Here's your break. Away again, running to a nice level start. The favorite R. Avery Lynn broke well on the wide outside. Yee Yetzi applying that pace pressure, and Key Faliani is out deep. Promise of joy to take that third position away, and Winterter rides the rail to be in front of three. And those three back markers include French Sheila, Status Asthmaticus, and Malaciosa's last of all. So, in a race that's void of any real pace, R. Avery Lynn carves it out with a three and a half furlong peg in sight and shows the way a length and a half. Yee Yetzi's off the inside trying the battle for that position with promise of joy. Two lanes down on the far outside, Status Asthmaticus is trying to close in along with Winterter, and still the back markers include Fred Sheila, and near the backfield is Maliciosa, and the one who's now trailed off is Status Asthmaticus. They pass the quarter pole, and R. Avery Lynn has built up a sizable lead as they swing for home, and R. Avery Lynn has kicked away from the opposition. Trying to hold second is promise of joy, late closing strides from Maliciosa in that light blue cap and right there too is winter tour for the miners but it's all over up top four to five looked like a gift today our avery win jog to the wire going off at four to five dropping from sixteen thousand to eight gerald bennett gets his 12 talos and Dental gets our 48 our avery lynn 382 42 20 promise of joy was second three dollars 260 and malicious was third three dollars the three was fourth, the exact 980, the try 6040, the daily double 2080, the pick three $23.90, your pick four one sixty three fifty, and your super $56.40. We'll go back on the turf, two-year-old Phillies made the special weight, take out the 1A, the 8, and the 12, and here's Josh. Away and running. A little bit of bumping between beautiful, gorgeous Moon Boss and So Fully Shoe, but they all break as one and they charge out of the chute. I don't know where to look. They're all across the track. So on the inside, Beautiful Gorgeous has the nose in front. Novel Idea is right there, too. And Where Did You Go is in the thick of it early. And Moon Boss rides the rail in a joint fourth position as they make this first turn. Having to tap on the brakes was Pergola and his very rank going around the first turn. So after all the dust settles, Novel Idea is the leader around the first turn. But 
there goes style for that outside draw. And those two are in step at the five and a half. In that third place position, beautiful, gorgeous in front of Moon Boss and dropping right out of it was per goal after a ranked turn. Sign and Seal passes that one along with So Fully Sue and same with I'm Buzzy. The ones who's tailed off is Pergola second last, where did you go? And after they flash behind the trees, liking it twisted is last of all. Halfway down the back of the track, Novel Idea is the leader and that leads an act. Style is right there, keeping tabs on that speed in second. And Beautiful Gorgeous gets a reminder of the whip to stay closer to the speed in that third place position. Wide is Moon Boss, coming alive on the inside is Sign and Sill, and a distant break to the rest. At the midpoint of the far turn run, wide outside is Style, on the inside is Novel Idea. These two are in step, and now Moon Boss, who wanted nothing to do with the loading process, revs up on the far outside. They're homeward bound now, and Style makes a break for it at the 3 16th. But now Moon Boss is set down, and here comes Moon Boss with long, graceful strides. Style is still leading. Moon Boss is still chasing at the 16th pole. Style trying to hold Moon Boss at bay, who takes another crack at Style, but Style's home, and Style wins. Style had style today. Break her maiden second start. Give Arnold de la Fiore his fifth. Give Donna Centeno his 42nd. And she breaks the main return. Six dollars, three forty, two eighty. Moon Boss was second, seven sixty four forty. Beautiful Gorgeous was third, four forty, and the nine was fourth. Your exact at thirty nine eighty. Your try two hundred ninety seven forty. Your daily double eleven twenty. Your pick three thirty two eighty, and your super was worth six hundred nineteen dollars even. Six race, optional claim in 25,000, gone one mile. We had a field of eight, just take out the six, make seven, and they're on their way. Away and running. Slow to go was Apricot. Rail speed from Shoe Shine. Super Dude is also right there. And Confessor takes that third spot away. Red again's a little wide as they swing left for the first time. And Cold Truce in that fifth place position. Aspect has one beaten and a lackluster start leaves Apricot. Last of all, and the pace is keen with Shoe Shine strutting his stuff to a three length lead. Super Dude's on hold in that second place position. And off the inside, Confessor is a distant third. In front of the leader, Shoe Shine. Another gap of five back to Cold Truth, who's a ground saving fourth. Red again's on the white outside, aspects near the backfield. And last of all is Apricot in a stretched out field, which would cover at least 15 lengths. And Shoe Shine making a break for it at the half mile pole, trying to slow it down a notch, but still leads by a about four to five lengths over a tracking super dude in second and confessors in third as they run one two three literally around the turn in fourth position red against trying to gather momentum cold truths backed up fast aspect still near the backfield and nothing today from apricot as they approach the five sixteenths shoe sign still on top of the field but that lead is dwindled to only be by four confessor trying to take giant chunks away from that lead and red again is unwinding from the back of the pack here comes Aspect on the far outside, and Aspect has all kinds of momentum now and is going to roll straight to the top. Aspect on the far outside trying to get past Shoe Shine and now does in the concluding stages at 7 to 2 from off the pace. Aspect has won it. Aspect comes from another area code. You get up just in time for Tim Richard gets his fourth, Robbie Alvarado Jr. gets his 15th, and Aspect return 960, 620. 340 shoe shine four dollars four dollars that's okay red again 660 the three was fourth your exact of 4140 your try 272 even your daily double 5680 and your pick three 37 dollars and 60 cents and your super 522 dollars and 90 cents back to the turf in the seventh race five eighths a mile optional claim in 32,000 take out one a take out the five take out the eight and there here they go
X Y Speed gets the job done. He wins his uh, six straight out of eight starts on the turf. He also gets claimed to Steve Kilsaris' his fourth. John Masoma gets his eighth, three sixty, two sixty, two ten, and uh, Jins and Tins four dollars two forty. A Song of Arch was third two forty. Your exact at twenty dollars. Your try thirty seven sixty. The Daily Double twenty one even. Your pick three was worth forty two forty. Why your Pick five was worth five hundred seven dollars and ninety cents, and your super fifty dollars and thirty cents. We apologize for no audio, but it was out of our control. The eighth race going uh, six furlongs, maiden claim at fifteen thousand fillies and nares. Scratch the four. Here's your start for the start. Away and running, taking a dip after the gate open with Sweet Tina. Outside, Cocktails at 8 was the first one to spring the latch. Monique's Daredevil with a lot of money on the tip of her nose is right there in that second place position. And Sweet Tina is now in third on the wide outside. Truly a Dream came away in fourth position. Now Bad Temper starts to hit her best ride. And last of all is Cool Spance, who's a little headstrong at the four for Long Peg. So Cocktails at 8 shows the way, and that lead is about three. Monique's Daredevil is right there on her old and patiently but in that second spot and starts to get a little bit closer too. Sweet Tina is one off the fence and is well clear in front of the rest, which includes Cool Stance on the wide outside, Truly a Dream in the center, and Bad Temper rides that rail. The quarter pole looms for Cocktails at eight, who continues to lead a length and a half. Monique's Daredevil right now the only threat in second in a distant, well-spread out field. Truly a Dream starts to close in on the rail as they turn for home. Cocktails at eight continues to lead. A very wide trip for Monique's Daredevil in the Concluding stages, Cocktails at 8 is 18 to 1. Monique Daredevil's even money getting closer and now comes up and over the top. Monique Daredevil lunging at Cocktails at 8 late, and Monique Daredevil has won it by. Marquis Devil gets up in time to return now 442, 82, 10. Cocktails at 8, 11, 44 dollars. Truly Dream was third, 220. Your five was fourth. Your exact to 43, 20. Your try, 63 dollars. Your daily double 940, your pick three 2130, and your pick four was worth $115.90, while your super was worth $50.50. Uh, leading jockeys, uh, Jimmy Rodriguez, he picked up a couple, 72. Carol gets one at 48. Daniel picked up two, he makes him at 42, and not much changed. Uh, Robbie Alvarado got one at 15. Let's take a look at your leading trainers, Jamie Ness, nothing. They'll be here, uh, actually no change here so uh, that's a look at your uh, leading trainers and leading jockeys here at uh, Delaware Park I, I, I assume we have a decent handle yet I haven't seen it yet but, but there it is one million five hundred and four thousand nine hundred and seventy three dollars um, we'll be back here again uh, Wednesday with eight more races so if you have time uh, check us out if you don't go to youtube.com slash Delaware Park Racing for all the action that you're missing so I'm your host, J.J. Gracie, for the crew here at Delaware Park. Good night and good race, and always find yourself in the winner's circle.